Today we are going to see it wrote our users in SFTP on FreeBSD. This will prevent the users from escaping from their home directories and uh, they will uh, not have any login to the SSH and uh, that's uh, not what you get by default if you're going to use the SFTP on FreeBSD. I'm going to show you an example of how it looks like if with the default install. I've been adding a user called test user just for this to show you what it's all about. I'm going to check what IP address I have first of all to the server. And then I'm going to use FileZilla from Windows side to add the SFTP site. Okay, now I connect to the machine. Oh, I forgot the host name. <clears throat> Which shouldn't be that, should be the IP address. So, um, this is the main problem. If you don't see it, root users, they will have access to the entire system. I'm not sure if they can manipulate something. I don't think they can because they don't have root privilege. But um, of course, they will be able to see and download some files from the system. That can be a bit uh, problematic. And uh, so you see, I can walk around in the file system. I'm not locked inside my home directory. So let's have a look at how we can solve this. We are, we are going to work with um, to create a group and uh, to set some uh, options there. But first of all, we need to make some settings inside of the SSHD config file. So I disconnect this client here. Now I want to, uh, uh, to start from zero, from a clean installation. So I'm going to revert my virtual machine. So I don't have any test users. And here we are. So first of all, I would like to configure the sshd config file. And uh, we just need to add some lines at the end of the file. So we are going to create a group called chroot. So these are the lines that you have to add at the bottom of the config file. I save this and then I restart the SHD daemon. That was a tricky word to say. You do it by following this command. Okay, so now it should be restarted. Uh, the next step is that we have to add a group called uh, chroot and this is done by pw add group chroot and then we need to add our users to this so let's add a test user we can call him uh, we can create one that has my name as an example Add user is the command for FreeBSD to add a user. I'm going to name this one. So um, the important thing is that you here, when you come to the login group, uh, to invite to other groups, you invite the person to ch root. And uh, after this, uh, you have to change something when you come to shell you have to select no login because this prevents the user for, from logging in with SHH connection like um, 
to be able to log in to the machine as a shell of SSH. So you just type in the login here. And then we keep the same home directory, keep the normal permissions, and we create the password. We don't use empty or random, we create one. Uh, and we uh, we don't want to lock out the user, of course. Uh, all these things are correct. And uh, as you see, it's uh, we've been adding this user to the ch root, uh, and it has a shell which has no login. Uh, these things are okay. So we just press yes here, and we don't want. I don't want to add another user. Perhaps you want, but not me this time. Uh, so what we have to do now is to uh, to change the how to say the um, the ownership of the directory uh, for the user, and this is done by first we can go to the home directory. Uh, as we see now, uh, the owner is Ronnie and the group is Ronnie but we need to add so uh, so the owner is wrote and the group owner is ch wrote and I'll show you how to do this uh, ch own followed by the flag caption at R and then wrote and then ch wrote uh, if you're not standing in the home directory you can make the full path like this home directory and Ronnie now if you look, if I type the ls command, you see that now it belongs to root and ch root. And uh, we, of course, we want the user to be able to write inside of anything inside of the directory. Uh, we need to create a data folder. Uh, the data folder can be any, any name. You can name it to web or anything. But because right now the user cannot write or escape from his folder, so we have to add a folder that the user can write into and access. So let's enter the, the home folder of me. And then we create a directory called data. Now when I created the data folder, I want to change the ownership of that also. So this has to be done to all the directory inside of the home directory now that you add. You do this, and you need to add um, the group, the private user Ronnie, and the group ch root, and you have to apply this to the data folder. So now we are ready to connect to the machine to see that it works correctly. I'm going to check, so I have the same IP address which I have, and I'm going back to FileZilla again. Now I just need to change so I get my correct username, which is this one, and I connect. And as you see now, I cannot escape my home directory because this is the root and I'm inside the home now instead of the root of the system. And you see, uh, it's fascinating perfectly as I wanted it. Uh, and uh, perhaps not fascinating, but it's working as I want. Uh, but now I'm able to enter the data folder. And here I can create categories, directories, like my web. And here I can upload my files. Let's say I want to upload. Hmm, wait a bit. Why isn't drag and drop working in Windows? I guess it's because I'm... Ah, there must be something weird. I should have dragged a file in there. But then I can uh, upload files or create files or anything like that. Let's give a nice example. Just taking a, a file of anything. And as you can see, I'm locked inside of the directory and I can upload things and the files and that the stuff to the folder. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you a bit.